Good morning fellow content creator, today's tutorial is aimed at my fellow streamer. Yes, I'm taking some time away from my own Twitch to bring you this tutorial about OBS command and mix it up and how to use them together. So let's first go through a couple of example of how I'm using the software and then we'll show you how to install it, have it running, understand the basics so then you can take it to the moon baby. All right. Steven, queue up amazing transition. Wow. Well, my actual OBS with all my actual cool bells and whistles over there on the screen, as you can see, I have my main scene selected. The way I switch between gaming and chatting is a bit different. It goes a little bit like this. Wow. Let's go back to first. So as you can see, there's a lot going on. It's using move transition plugin, some other effect, and it's all being combined with the magic of OBS command. Something else that I really like to do is if I bring up my big face and my lovely baby Yoda right there and I type the command exclamation point hat I can show you some manipulation that can be done with the software Ooh, baby Yoda now, now wears a hat What it does is it animates an unexisting hat down replays the file with a different JPEG, PNG, whatever you want and then animates it back up and then when we trigger it again Mix it up, grabs another file, tells, tells OBS command to go down, change it, bring it back up. Now it's a cat. And now it's wearing a beanie. Just like me. Something else that is very powerful is you can change values of any filter, any values. Let me show you an example. If I do box orange, it takes the value out of every single one of my filter on all my scene, turns it orange. And now if I go anywhere, uh, if I go into my art scene, it's all orange as well. Go back to main. If I switch scene, see my background is orange. And I can do that with any color that I've preset into this freaking recipe. Pretty neat. Now to get started, click the link in the description, which will open a browser. Then you will be brought to the Open Broadcaster Software Forum, more specifically on the free command line tool for OBS WebSocket plugin Windows 1.5.4. I know it's a mouthful. AKA OBS command. Once there, you just click on go to download. It will download the file. And you will need this page in the future. So I suggest bookmarking it because there's a lot of example here, really useful. And here is the link for the OBS WebSocket GitHub, which will open every single thing you can do with the command ability of OBS command. Now that we went over the website, let's minimize this. Open your download folder. Find a zip file called OBS command with the latest version. Right click, extract all. This brings up a pop-up. Click extract, which will extract it exactly where you were. Now inside this folder is the software itself and a copy of OBS WebSocket. And this version is 4.8.0. Make sure you have the latest version of WebSocket installed. To install it, make sure OBS is shut down. Double click, follow the prompt, read the agreement. Next, next, next finish and once you reopen obs you will have websocket installed for my fellow mix it up user if you've been trying to control obs with mix it up action then you will also need websocket so may as well you know grab it or maybe you already have it i don't know that's why i'm saying all those options the folder containing the software now needs to be moved to its permanent final location for me it's directly on the c drive in an obs folder for you it may be different for the goal of the tutorial i will just leave it right there Inside we have OBS command.exe and a couple accompanying file that I'm guessing it's needed. Nice. Now that we have the software, we could just, you know, move the folder there, open OBS and do something like this. Type CMD in your path so it opens the command prompt at the right position. Type OBS command.exe and blah 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 but this is really time consuming it's not really scalable so today our solution will be to use mix it up we can add conditional logic chat command channel points it's just it does everything so mix it up is going to be the solution today so let's close that let's minimize this let's show you what mix it up looks like hey this is mix it up i'm using the gray team it's pretty plain it doesn't hurt my eyes when you first install it, there's a bunch of stuff to go through. I have other tutorial on my channel. There's plenty of other out there. Just make sure that you have at least your streamer account connected. 
Then you will go into the service page. You will click OBS Studio. And this is where you will connect your WebSocket with OBS for further tutorial. For today's tutorial, it's not necessary, but if you've just installed OBS WebSocket, you might as well do that. For me, I'm gonna change my password here in the OBS WebSocket server setting to one, two, three, four, five, six. And I will leave my port default. Click OK here. Now I type my password, one, two, three, four, five, six. Please don't hack me, Mr. Hackerman. Test connection. Connection is successful. This part is done. Most likely you've clicked on this tutorial because you've already learned about chat command, you've already learned about action group, and you want to use one of those to control OBS command. Now, you could go into every single one of your chat command and action group and add OBS command in there and always redo the same process over and over again. But today we're going to show you the right way to do it that is very, very flexible. So we're going to be creating one action group containing the settings and then every other action or command that we want to use are going to use that action group to triggers OBS command just like in this graphic so click on the burger menu click on action group and click on new action group I will call mine OBS command setting and to make sure I do not lose it I will create a tutorial command group and for this command, make sure it's unlocked. For most of them, you won't need to, but this specific one, make sure it's unlocked. Then go over to action and click on external program. Press the plus. And here you go. We have our first action. The only action we'll need in this action group. So external program, let's find the path that we used Earlier in the tutorial where OBS command is installed, you need to find the exe, OBS command.exe, click open, and the path here should give you OBS command.exe. Now as far as program argument goes, okay. If you don't have a password, your port is default, and you're running it on your local computer, you can just type dollar sign all args. So what this will do is grab everything you send to it, send it to OBS command as is, no modification. It's easy peasy. Then you will click on wait until complete so that if you want in any of your action to make sure that it's completed, you can click on the wait until complete command and it's all going to work perfectly. For those of us that have other software that use WebSocket and that have password and whatnot, you will need to change this box or this now by doing that every time you will trigger this action group it will send your password it will send your server ip if you've changed it and your port then it will add everything else at the end of the command and sends it to obs command once you've done this and you've changed your password your server and your port if needed click on save we are done now i'm creating a new action group for you it could be anything i'm gonna call this um zoom camera i will put this into my tutorial folder and this will also be unlocked because i want my camera zoom to happen immediately as soon as i trigger it like zoom that's it no questions asked i will go into action and this time i will select command i click plus command type is going to be action group and the command name is going to be whatever you've named your command obs command settings and now in the command argument if you send scene equal my scene, all right? I open my OBS and I make this be right back. I click play. It's gonna change my scene to be right back. I click main, I click play, and change my scene to main. And there's plenty of other example on the web page, but today we wanna work on filter. To show you the capabilities, we'll be using a plugin by Exceldro called Move Transition, link in the description. What this does is it lets you move a bunch of stuff. Don't go too much over the details. You could be using any plugins. This is just a demo. So if I go into my camera chooser here, those all my cameras are here and I have a folder that is movable camera. If I click on the scene filters, I have all of those move filter applied. One of them is called zoom zoom. And if I show it, 
it zooms in if i show this one it goes back to default it's really simple to use uh you can set it any way you want you can do a uh you can do a slow zoom for those dramatic effects it's really fun so the way this effect is triggered is by showing the filter if i show this then i show that it does it to do that with obs command you will need to type the following slash command equal set source visibility correction set source filter visibility this is the type of command we want to do we want to set the source filter visibility either true or false then we set up the source name the source name in this case is camera chooser and the name of the filter zoom zoom then the action is filtered enable equals true now if i click play boom it zooms if i want to change this to default click play it shows the default it zooms out pretty straightforward now what if i want to automate this usually you would change the name here to zoom then duplicate change this name to default add a weight in the center and then it will work and it will work but because you send your password every single time sometimes it can confuse obs command and the most powerful way is to do it all in one command line so hear me out you type all of those things then you will add slash delay equal the amount of seconds so two and then you will paste the same line again you will change that to default so now if i play this zoom one two zoom out one two now what you could do is you could type slash delay equal two take the whole thing paste it type slash delay equal to paste it again you you can do as many commands as you want it will keep triggering them so let's do this i'm gonna click play zoom one two zoom out one two zoom in one two zoom out one two zoom in one two and zoom out again no i think i've only done it three times perfect that's all now you can make this pretty make it a chat command add a chat message and save it your job is now done you have learned something you can take this and extend it as far as the eye can see so if that's all you wanted to do to trigger those simple effects then tutorial is over for you thank you very much for watching click me on my social like and subscribe and all that for everyone else that is a bit more advanced and that really likes spending time with me, stick around a bit longer. I will show you how to get the information for all the source filter settings and all the sources settings. So let's say you want to change the color of a color correction or you want to change the file path of a media source. You can also do that. Go back to the folder for OBS command. Click in there, type command. This window will pop up. Now what you want to do is type in here your entire command. Let's say you want to change the color of a color correction filter. You go in there and you will type OBS command, password, the command, the name of the source, the name of the filter, press enter. It will give you every single settings. Also very useful if you want to find what crazy ass number is set for specific colors. This is all you will get that. Now, if you were to use the set source filter settings with the source name and the filter name, then you will be able to use the border color yada 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 settings. The other the other command that is useful is this one: get source setting and then the source name. You don't need to specify which uh, scene it's in, and now it will tell you everything that is configured in the source setting right now i only have two things changed everything that is default will not be shown but if i had um if you had a video source and you had the restart playback enable then you will see it in there and then you could change it now that's it you can go back on the obs command website 
go at the bottom click on here and you can search to your heart content how to change transition how to change sources how to add sources how to take screenshot everything is open to you you just need to be looking for it and doing some tests if you have any question about this feel free to reach me out on my social come and hang out in the chat or go onto the mix it up discord into the support section and uh, ask away a lot of people are using this and it's been very useful for all of us i hope you great luck with your future project and as always keep streaming because streaming is amazing thank you for watching everyone